Floor four. With all of the communication we got with the spirit box and the weird feeling from the ballroom, something was drawing us to investigate the rest of the floors of the hotel, especially one specific room, room 417. And as we stood outside of room 417, which is where someone had saw a maid in old style clothing walking into the room, Haley and I both got complete chills throughout our bodies. Little did we know that later on at night, but we did our portal session at 3 a.m., we would make contact with her. All right, guys, so this room is the room that the person who had an experience seeing a maid walk into their room, this is their room. And as we got close to it, we just got complete chills. If there is a spirit of a maid in this area, please say something. I know I may not be able to hear you, but I'm sure that the camera and the microphone on the camera will be able to hear you. If you have anything to say, please say it. All right guys, so we just came past this door that seems to lead outside and you guys know me oh well it's open watch your step what's the point of this yeah hold it open Okay, so right away, I'm drawn to this door here. All right guys, so you guys just seen us go out into that recreational area and we went down to the third floor, which is a floor that we've never been to before. And I was drawn to this door right away that brings us outside to that kind of area that we just saw. But it's not that exact same area, guys. Take a look. All right, guys, I'm not too sure what this area is below us uh, through these sunroofs, but I got to say it's really creepy. All right, guys, so we're going to move on from here. We're on the third floor. I want to see what the sixth floor looks like because I noticed the little bridge up there. So I'm thinking that that bridge is associated with the sixth floor. So let's see if we can access that because you guys know how I am. Wherever I'm not supposed to go, I want to go. So let's do it. All right, guys. So I've been very intrigued to get to the sixth floor. But as we get into the elevator, I think it's key accessible, which we do not have. So we're going to be heading back to the room and getting into the spirit box. So let's do it.
All right, guys, so something I just want to say, we're standing outside of our room and just walking through all the different hallways and different floors, I've realized something. And I don't know if Haley has actually realized this yet because it's only hit me right now as we've come back to our room. The heat is on in this hotel. Mm -hmm. So those cold spots that we've experienced mm -hmm throughout the hotel and especially outside that room 417 mm -hmm. that was cold. is truly unexplainable because as we came out of the elevator right now going back to our room you could feel the heat on it's literally hitting you you could feel the heat but when you get to those certain spots you can feel the cold breeze hitting your body and touching your skin so i really have no explanation for it so mm -hmm. Let's get into the room and let's get into this portal and communicate with what is in this hotel if they want to communicate with us, but let's get into it. All right, here a Steve Huff from Huff Paranormal approved portal that we're going to be utilizing to communicate with the spirits of this hotel this evening. Which we used earlier, just now we're expecting a lot more to come through now that it's Absolutely. 3 a.m. And now that we've wandered the hotel, we've gathered a lot of energy, we made our presence known. And we also learned from a group of people that we met that from what we learned from them, we are the only other people besides one single wedding party. That's true. That is currently present in this hotel. That they are aware of. and That they've seen. That they've seen. And they're the only other people that we've ever seen throughout this hotel the whole time that we've been here. Yeah. And we've been exploring for quite some time now. So and I feel we as... we really didn't hear much noise. No, not at all. And so I feel as though... Sorry to interrupt you, but I feel as though because they're all having their night before the wedding, drinking, having fun night, and we're actually seeking out the spirits i feel as though if there's any night to make such a connection it's during this quiet time of the pandemic where there's only one other group who isn't even aware of the spirits in this hotel and us because i'm excited to see what they're going to say now that we've really tried to seek them out and see I agree. what comes through i agree so we wandered the hotel made our presence known uh explored some haunted specific locations that we've read about and now we're thinking that since we've made our presence known there will be a lot more communication and a lot more things that want to make itself known to us i've said this before about the hotel that there is said to be a spirit that kind of looks over the hotel and protects it so i'm really interested to see if we can communicate with that spirit and if he comes through again. And if he comes through again. Uh, but let's get into it, guys. I'm really excited, so let's get into it. My name is Tyler. This is Haley. We've tried to communicate with you earlier today. We would love to speak with you and hear your story. We're not here to harm you. We don't mean to disrespect you. We just simply want to hear you out. Well. Are any of you from the ballroom? When we went to the fourth floor, we felt as though there was a cool presence there, not cool. <laughs> When we went to the fourth floor, we felt as though there was a cool 
presence there, not <laughs> Was one of you there with us? This is weird. What happened in room 417? We are calling all spirits attached to this hotel and building. We would love to communicate with you. Can you please come forward? Can you please come forward? We would love to hear what you have to say. Yes. There was a child here earlier. Does the child still see that little teddy bear? Does he want to communicate with the teddy bear? Can you see the teddy bear laying on the bed? Uh, Feel free to touch the teddy bear laying on the bed. We ask you to touch the teddy bear laying in front of us. How many of us do you see? We're about to go to sleep and film it. Should we be afraid? We are not here to harm you. We mean you no disrespect. We just simply want to hear your story. We want to thank you for communicating with us and taking the time to understand us and speak to us. Like I said before, we mean you no harm, no disrespect. We just want to hear your story and hear your voice. love for you to make a connection with us and be your presence known and we want you to know that even though we're going to sleep we're going to leave different things throughout the room that you're able to use to communicate with us whether it's the child or it's a spirit it's a whoever it is we 
would love for you to communicate. Hey. All right? Can you say goodbye? Yes. Yes. Thank you so much for talking with us. Yes, thank you. <laughs>